Yeah, yeah, welcome back to the channel, Toon Reacts. Yeah, yeah, man, y'all know what it is, man. How y'all doing, man? How y'all feeling today? <laughs> man, you know what I'm saying? We back. You see um, the title, Jada, she's back. <laughs> she back to, you know, make fun of her dude again. So we about to see what she talking about, y'all. Here we go. <laughs> You know I'm ready. But the thing that surprised me the most that I actually had to reread it right. because I said, "Is this true?" Right. Was that in 2016, you and Will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives. Yes. It was not a divorce on paper, right? But it was a divorce. divorce. So from the year 2016 which is seven years ago now. <laughs> yes. Y'all have been apart. Yeah. But in public, the couple who married in 1997 denied the gossip about their marriage. Over the next several years, Jada and Will kept up the appearance of a committed married couple. So why do that? Like, what was the reason? I think just not being ready yet. Mm still trying to figure out between the two of us how to be in partnership right and in regards to how do we present that to people you know and we hadn't figured that out during our walk in baltimore jada reflected on their breakup why did the relationship fracture oh why it fractured that that's a lot of things yeah and i think by the time we got to 2016, we were just exhausted with training. I think we were both kind of still stuck in our fantasy of what we thought the other person should be. Oh. Jada says she considered a legal divorce, but could never go through with it. I made a promise that there will never be a reason for us to get a divorce. We will work through whatever. And I just haven't been able to break that promise. Mm. <laughs> but you still live separately we live separately nobody said pause take them out really. okay guys so many of you guys have sent this to me i mean you guys are quick right you guys are very very quick with it and it just so happens that i was scrolling through social media and also saw this myself and you know first things first the, the first exact thing that i want to say is that we all know that when people um, embark on the journey of marriage, you know, it, it is not in a space that people are expecting perfection, right? Like, I think if you are going into a space of a long-term committed relationship, i.e. for the rest of your life, and you are expecting perfection at all times, you should rethink getting married because it's unrealistic. This is not, you know, the Disney fairy tale. This is not, you know, a uh, knight in shining armor just comes and scoops you up and you guys go along your merry way and you never have problems and you never disagree. And there's never going to be, you know, uh, certain aspects of your relationship where you are questioning things like that is not reality. It's not. So I don't want to uh, begin this conversation with the ideology that I believe that marriage is based off of, you know, perfection, because I do not believe that to be true. In fact, uh, you know, my A1 Day Ones who've been here and supporting this channel would know that I speak from a place of uh, trying to be the best version of yourself. I never say that I'm speaking from a place of you have to be perfect or else. Mm hmm. There's a lot of, you know, in between, a lot of little um, spaces, a lot of little things that end up sp actually um, spoiling relationships that if you can just be mindful of these smaller details, it will assist you in having the best, um, not, not only you being the best version of yourself, but also having the best results in your relationship aspect because of your mindfulness. We teach 
web development from beginning to end at Academy. Nice. Really, man. Teach the students, uh, Ruby. A lot of the, the, the time when we hear women who are just, you know, going off the rails and just saying whatever it is that they feel and are not uh, being mindful of the way that they are uh, approaching situations, of, about the way that they are communicating, that is where the problem in and of itself lies. But so I, I want to start off with that. OK, that is my disclaimer. I want to start off with that. Mm -hmm. um the next thing that i want to say and i have to pull it up here on my phone because i actually was like you know what i saw these bits and pieces i saw clips you know all these things that were popped up on social media which we're going to get into all the things that i saw and you know i was like i want to see if i can find or read somewhat of the article in which she talked about all of these things because i thought it would be necessary now what i found Okay, is that this, I believe, is about a book that is coming out um, that Jada Pinkett wrote. And I think the person who interviewed <laughs> her read that book and was, you know, just bringing up little snippets of it. But what I found to be very interesting was that, you know, um, we're going to go right into the Chris Rock situation. Okay. She said um, in this interview with People Magazine about this entire situation about the book about you know this is her first time speaking up about exactly what happened and she basically said that uh chris rock came off the stage and the first thing that he did was apologize to her now i found that to be kind of interesting because um you know when she was in in the space she was coming from a place of like oh you know everybody was was running with the narrative that she was mad and he was doing this to defend her and to defend her honor. And, you know, she kind of like rolled her eyes when he said what he said. And it just shows the fact that like Chris was coming from, you know, a comedian standpoint. So when we all saw that um, action take place. We Hold on, y'all. And let me add this in. Not like she trying to break in this shit with Chris Rock. Now I'm talking about Chris Rock. Basically trying to make it seem like, oh, Chris Rock trying to, well, I was reading up on it a little bit earlier, but it's good that, you know, people are doing videos, so, you know, I'm going to in, get in the mix, but basically saying, like, he tried to talk to her before and shit like that, while he was like, oh, I thought y'all was getting a divorce. Like, you know, this some lame, ass, this an excuse, you know what I'm saying? Well, look at this motherfucker, though, man. It's like... It's like how many times you gonna humiliate your 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 husband, man? Like I don't give a fuck, y'all are separated or not. You humiliating your whole family, and that's what women don't get. It's like you sitting here, like every you you like how many interviews did she did? Now I can't even count on my fingers. Like this is probably what, like the fifth, sixth interview that she did on her on her husband or the family. It's like you just disrespecting your whole family legacy, man. All this for what? Like, I, I, I'm trying to get, I'm really trying to fathom what, what do you get in all, all this? Like, this gets you excited? You see what I'm saying? But we're going to keep it going. I just want to add this in. Like, it is really sickening, man. Sickening, man. Kind of like, that's what comedians do. Like, they rag on people, they tell jokes. Like, I can, I can only imagine that he is not coming from a bad place. And making this, you know, yeah, I've been knowing that boy for years, woman. man. They've been knowing Chris Rock for years, man. They got plenty of pictures the of them same boys. Exact interview, yes, she was saying that she did not see what he was doing as anything bad. She literally said, and I quote, I mean, that's what comedians do. I would just have to say that I am not really here to make any judgment on how people decide to express themselves and express their art. I'll say that several times I've had my feelings hurt for sure. I've had my feelings hurt a lot by Chris. But at the end of the day, being in the spotlight, it comes with the territory. So she's saying that, you know, he's a comedian. That's what comedians do. Who yeah, am I to tell him how to man. make a joke? Like I said, they did a whole movie to together. To right? This award show. Who am I to, you know, they did a whole kind of animated movie together. Like, and make people it know seem each other, like man. I'm bigger than everybody else or I'm, I'm above reproach. Your husband, okay, separated or not, the person who is in the family unit with you went up there to, quote, unquote, defend your honor. Mm -hmm. And you are basically Still saying, no respect. 
<laughs> At the end of the day, Still it is no what respect. it is. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. Regardless of the fact that he's lost deals, regardless of the fact that he is no longer a part of the academy, regardless of the fact that, you know, a lot of people don't even deal with him no more based off of the fact that he did that for you. There is one Still secret no to be successful, to the best at what you do, to become a thought leader, a respected voice. It's how Marcus Lemoyne... Can we just be honest? It is starting to, uh, it's starting to get a little bit weird because of the fact that, you know, when she was in the thick of it in her space with the whole August situation, which is the, you know, singer who was friends with her son, a quote unquote family friend that she ended up being in a relationship with, obviously as her and Will were separated, I think, you know, for people who have ever watched Red Table Talk, this is not anything <laughs> that she blatantly knew that her and Will were not in a, uh, you know, committed relationship in 2016 moving forward. She's made that kind of clear with certain things that she said on Red Table Talk. And the people who watch it would, would know all that this excuses. is not. It's okay. Okay. The fuck my but motherfucker says it's okay to fuck your own together son or friend. intimate or whatever the situation is, they have come. <laughs> to the public and presented as a married couple when that situation happened with august and they came to the red table and they had a whole conversation about it will sat there public tv in support of her okay defending her uh also being a crutch for her making it seem like it's us together uh, you know as much as everybody else can bash this woman don't bash her too bad because she's my wife and yes i might have been upset about it but i still love her and i support her even though you guys have uh you know humiliated him okay by you know you over here telling your business you over here talking about the relationship you over here making him a meme because of your own transgressions the things that you've done and he still stood there saying, I'm a man, I'm going to protect her. I'm going to, you know, do my due diligence. I'm going, I'm keeping her mental health in mind. I'm keeping, you know, all of these things in mind. He stood by it. Okay. The Oscar situation happened. And he stood by it because he's quote unquote defending your honor. Now, when stuff hits the fan... And you're speaking about all of these things. To me, it is exuding. He's on his own. I never told him to do that. I never told him to come to the red table talk <laughs> and talk about that. He didn't have to do that if he didn't want to. I never mm -hmm. told him to go defend my honor. I never told him I needed any defending. That's what they say. I'm confused. <laughs> we are. I'm very confused. And I'm confused as to why, you know... Women are, are acting all shocked and, oh, I can't believe this. And, oh, Jada, I can't believe you said this. And I can't believe, oh, well, you know, you're revealing so much about the relationship. But y'all were the same ones. When the incident happened, talk about, yeah, that's right. Y'all need, need to get y'all a will, you know, because I need a man that's going to defend me. Y'all were all so gung-ho mm -hmm. in the foolishness and the toxicity. But now when she left him out there to dry... Y'all are like, oh, no, this is crazy. This is too much. You know, you're doing too much. You're telling us too much of your business. <laughs> make it make sense because it don't make sense to me. Next aspect of this is when, you know, she tried to also throw in there that uh, video. when does it have to. I don't know why he did that. He got to deal with that stuff on his own. He got his own traumas that he's going through, and he needs to go through it by himself. He needs to figure it out for himself. There was yeah, literally I guess a he ain't, um, Jada was very. Want to simplify HR? You know, work with play the PEO. In the world, um, a PEO can help you save time on HR. Video and stuff. Very candid about her issues that she had been going through. But basically, what I was telling y'all, like I said, she just trying to make excuses, man. That's all that shit is, y'all. <laughs> like, like I said, she trying to bring up Chris Rock. Oh, we wasn't just happy. We been separated to 2016. 
you know, the same old bullshit, man. Like a typical. Like, this is our system, man. <laughs> it's like sick, man. It's, it's very sickening. I'm a masculine the motherfucker. A typical masculine. I'm the alpha female. Like, <laughs> like nowadays you you. Uh, it's a video too. I want y'all to. We gonna watch that. I gotta try to find it. But you know, it's definitely not a lot of these women now talking about the alphas, and it it just man, we in the, in the last days, man. That's all I got to say. But yeah, man, like. Like I said, not to keep going on about this shit. Well, I'm really dis- disgusted with her. Like, like this is like six, seven times you came out here doing interviews, humiliating your whole family. And now I say it's not about you. What what is all this is is solving? Like I really don't get it. <laughs> and they get they get excited. Look, let me go back right quick for you so y'all can see how she get excited. Two. How do we present that to people? We gotta realize these people you know? are professional actors and, and actresses we had and shit. Figured that out. Look at this During shit. our walk in Baltimore, Jada reflected on their breakup. Yes. Y'all have been apart. Yeah. Look, they is you see this dumbass public, shit? Like the couple who married in nineteen ninety seven denied the gossip about their marriage over the next several years jada and will kept up the appearance yeah, let me go back of a to the video. separate lives yes. it was not a divorce on paper right but it was no they a, she, a she get excited so from the year you see what i'm saying like you can't make this up she she excited talking about this shit like yeah we've been gone we've been separated so they did that gives an excuse for sleeping with your, your son, best friend, humiliating your, your man every chance you get. That's an excuse, right? You already know what I'm going to say, y'all. A freak. Use a toy. That's a, that's a, you know what I mean? Motherfucker, do you want to be out here? But yeah, man, y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. I don't even got to. Well, I really, it's a lot of shit I didn't want to say, but I'm, you know, we're going to keep it cool. <laughs> yeah, man, but y'all already know, man. Y'all, y'all hit the like button. Y'all hit the subscribe button, man. We in here, man. Shout out to my iPhones, man. Y'all leave a comment, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about their relationship, their dynamics. You already know, man. We in here. Ow, ow.